I was a canoeer for years, and uh, my friend in Oshawa, John Hinch, asked me to go. Uh, we knew a man up here called John Scott. I think he was in, in the race this year. That was 1973. It's just been a, an annual tradition. It became a tradition the second year I did it. Did you, so did, did, did you enjoy doing it, doing it the first time you did it? Or is that... It was exhausting, it really was. But I like that. You put out as hard as you can and you know you've done something. And I don't mean you, you paddle to win, I mean you just paddle to put out the best you can. So what drives you to c c continue to do this every year? It gives me a reason to keep in shape. I get ready for it at the gym and I go paddling. So. It's sort of like a carrot, okay? With a carrot, uh, it gives me a reason to keep in shape. So does it get, get uh, easier every year that you do it? Or? It never gets easier, but it doesn't get harder. It's, uh, it's always gonna be a, a difficult task, but as I get older, it doesn't seem to get more difficult. So, and what would you say one of the positives as well is uh, r raising money to help, to help the museums around here as well? Absolutely. I wonder how much I've given to the museum, probably quite a bit, and, and uh, I, I never resent the, the fee because I know it's going to a good cause. And by the way, there's a lot of volunteers in this uh, organization that uh, deserve a lot of credit. They've been doing it for year in, year out, and uh, feather in their caps. So do you plan on, on continuing doing, doing this next year as well? I'll be here for as long as I'm alive, I think. <laughs>